What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got this beautiful purple smoky look for you. And if you're interested in how to achieve this look, please keep on watching. I like to just dot the lighter one just a little bit around kind of the bottom of my cheekbone area um, just because I feel it brings a lot more dimension. Lately, I've just been really loving um, that brow food gel just because my eyebrows are kind of thick on their own and I feel like that just gives me the right amount of color and just kind of shapes the hairs like where I want it to be because I've been really feeling this bushy look as of recently and it's been doing it for me. Then I just clean up the bottom with a little bit of concealer just because I have some stray hairs going on which when I zoom in in a little bit you'll probably see them but we're just going to pretend it's not there and I kind of just brush the top straight because I don't want to apply too much concealer up there because that's then it just turns into those like halo brow looks or like you know you know when you follow um, like Anastasia Beverly Hills on Instagram and you see all the brow pictures they post like the, the Instagram brows not really going for the Instagram brow with this look right now. Just tamed and clean. So now I'm gonna move you guys in close so what we can do the eye look. So for today's look, I'm going to be using this, these two purple, maybe just this one, but the purple's in the Masquerade palette. And I'm also going to be dipping and dabbing into these two purples here and using some of the browns and other colors. So were you guys just gonna tell me to not find my eyes and be hella petty?
um, any shimmery purple you have, I'm going to use the color Makita from this Juvia's Place and plop that right in the center. Revlon did that with these duo-sided eye art things. Love that. Um, next, I'm going to come into this lighter black shade with the same brush that has the purple on it. I'm not going to clean off my brush or anything. And I'm just going to deepen I don't really like to bring it all the way in because I feel like that closes off my eye and makes them smaller. Um, I wish I made my eyes look bigger, but some things just aren't in the cards. Just. with some mascara. So whenever I do a dark look or a smoky kind of look, I like to use black lash glue, especially if I do a thick line. Um, I like to just save my white or clear glue for, you know, my golden warm looks just because black lash glue has a very high tendency to fuck shit up. And in case you're wondering, I am using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive and it has aloe in it. It came in a pack with some Kiss Lashes that I got. And I actually really like it. A trick that I like to do because my lashes curl naturally, I like to take an eyelash curler, put it the opposite way that you would normally curl and uncurl my lashes. That way I can get just a better kind of angle with which to come in with my C. that to the other eye real quick. And that is pretty much what we are working with for the eye. I'm just gonna come a little bit closer. <laughs> gonna dust off slash blend in this baking action. Now the main reason why I leave it on so long is not necessarily to bake and set my concealer and foundation, it's really to catch the fallout from the eyeshadow, especially when I use darker colors and shimmery colors and anything that might have glitter or dark and highly pigmented aspects to them. I don't want those all over my cheeks or else it's just going to be hell to clean off.
So this brushing back and forth thing that I do for contouring my nose gives me like just a very subtle contour. It doesn't give you like a sharp two lines that you really don't want down your nose. Um, I learned this tip from Alyssa Ashley, which you probably follow her, and if you don't, you should. But yeah, it just kind of makes it a lot more subtle and just blended rather than just the two stark lines, which doesn't look all that great. I just spent a solid like 10 minutes trying to figure out what kind of lip I want to do and just for the sake of not, you know, kind of being too much, I could be too much and throw a black lip on, but I was like, no, um, I decided to stick with a very nude lip, pretty much what I always go for. So I don't even know why I spent 10 minutes trying to figure it out. This chestnut liner from MAC is like my all-time favorite dark brown liner. Like, like nothing. Nothing does for me what chestnut does for me. Honestly guys, we're in the middle of a snowstorm right now where I live and if you hear clouds in the background, there it is, sorry. Don't hate me, but this Superstay 14-hour um, lipstick from Maybelline, I got it years ago. I don't even think they still sell this stuff. If you can find it on eBay or Amazon, get your hands on it, but I don't the plow though. Yeah, I got it years ago. Oh, so creamy. I don't know if I want a little bit of shine. Actually, I do, I do. You know what, I'm going to put a little bit more shine on my lips just because there's a lot of shine going on in my eyes. So I just want, I just want to glow. I just want to shine for the god. And I'm just gonna use my Pat McGrath Clear Gloss on the tip of my finger. Just kind of. Dab it. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't. Sorry. I was just asking for it. Just had to be done. Had to get out of my system. Honestly, truly, I just realized I kind of fucked up because I usually like to spray my face before I do my mascara and under eye shadow just so it doesn't like shoot down. Sometimes I don't even spray my face at all for this look. So I'm going to try and spray below my eyes. So I'm going to do this. Very powdery areas and then above my head. And that my friends is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said right at the beginning of this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That would be greatly appreciated and I would love you forever. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look. I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little close up and do some slow-mo action right about now.